Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be factoring a cubic polynomial in two different ways. If you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications and let's get started. Now we do have 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1, which is a cubic polynomial. We're going to go ahead and factor this and I'll be presenting two different methods here. The first method. The first method involves some manipulation of this expression so that it becomes factorable by grouping. And here's the idea. When you look at an expression like this, obviously cubic equations can be solved, but they're not always easy and sometimes the roots are not rational. But if you're talking about factoring a cubic polynomial, most cases, the solutions are rational. Or at least we do have a rational solution. Okay, now how do we go about factoring it by considering the fact that the root, one of the roots might be rational. Well, here's one thing to consider. First of all, notice that we have 2x cubed. Uh, when you have an x cubed and then at the end, the constant is negative one. So this is what I'm thinking. And sometimes people ask like, how would you think about this, right? Well, if you practice, uh, you'll start saying things like this. Okay, anyways. So this expression can be broken down into pieces like this. I'm gonna take one of the x cubes So I'm going to go ahead and take this x cubed and I'm going to pair it up with the x cubed minus one. Now, the reason why I do that is because I want to get something like a sum of two cubes or a difference of two cubes from here. And again, sometimes this is just trial and error. You have to try different ways until you get a solution. And sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Now, once I separate one of the x cubes, of course, I still have another x cubed, a leftover, right? So I'll, I will just write it down this way. Uh, anything that's left over is going to be x cubed plus, so I broke this down and I use this. So I have x squared plus x left. So this gives me x squared plus x. Okay. So again, we're just factoring this expression. So we're not solving an equation, but sometimes you may just set it equal to zero, solve it as an equation, and then go about factoring. Now, why did I do this? Because there's a reason. First of all, this is a difference of two cubes. And second of all, this expression is also somewhat special. How do you know? We'll see. Now, how do you factor this one? You write it as x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. Okay? A super duper important formula. Okay. Plus, plus. Now, this part, now, we have a total of five terms, right? And we separate it. So, it's kind of grouping, but you don't always get to group in equal sizes, right? And that's okay. In this case, we do have a common factor, you know, in factoring, um, finding the GCF is very important. And in this case, it happens to be X. And if you take out the X, you'll end up with X squared plus X plus one. Wow, what a surprise, right? Okay, well, it wasn't a surprise if you knew what you were doing, but the idea is basically here, after grouping and factoring the some difference of two cubes and the other term, we got a common factor, okay. Of course, all of this is planned, right? So now we do have a common factor, which means we can just go ahead and pull it out. This is called basically grouping by factoring, but we just had to manipulate the expression a little bit. Okay? All right, cool. So now we're gonna take out the x squared plus x plus one. That's common factor. Then it'll be multiplied by x minus one plus x. x plus x is equal to two x. Therefore, the other factor is going to be 2x minus 1. All right? So that's going to be the first method. We separated the x cubed into two pieces, 2x cubed, I mean, and then we used it in two different places. We factored by grouping, and here's the result. Cool. And you know that x squared plus x plus 1 appears a lot in some factoring problems that we've done before. It's a very special product. And there's a lot of good things about it, which we'll probably talk about later. Okay, here's the second method. How does the second method work? Well, the second method uses a different idea. All right, so what is the second method? Well, in the second method, I'm going to go ahead and take my expression. So here's my original expression, 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1. This is what I'm trying to factor, correct? Okay. So this is what I'd like to do. I'm going to multiply this equation by four, okay? 
and you might be asking like y by 4, you'll see, all right? So I'll multiply by 4 and then I'll divide by 4. Of course, this is not really going to change anything because 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So I'm essentially multiplying by 1, which doesn't make a difference, right? But why am I doing it? When we distribute the 4, we're going to get 8x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. Now, you might still be asking, like, why did we do that, right? There's a reason. Now, let me not write the divide by 4 every time because we're going to be writing this a few times. And I don't want to do it. I want to do it all the way at the end. So just remember that this is not my original expression, but it's four times the original expression. So at the end, when I'm done with factoring and everything, I have to divide by 4. Okay, so as a note, note, remember to divide by 4. Okay? All right, cool. So let's go ahead and factor this. Now, why did we divide? I'm sorry, did I say divide? I should say multiply. Why did we multiply by 4? Because we wanted to get 8x eight, eight cubed. And 8x cubed happens to be 2x quantity cubed. All right? And 4x squared happens to be 2x quantity squared. And 4x can be written as 2 times the quantity 2x minus 1. Beautiful. Again, we're going to factor this and divide by 4 at the end. Okay? So, what do you see? Or do you see what I see? Okay, hopefully you do. I see 2x is repeating over and over. So, that calls for substitution, right? So, I'm going to say, okay, let u equals or equal, right? Let u equal 2x. Why? Because that's going to make my polynomial monic. Monic means... The coefficient, the leading coefficient is 1, and monic polynomials are good. Why are they good? Because they are good. Just good. Or no? For the... Um, oh, we forgot something, I just realized. When we multiply by 4, this should be a 4. All right? So we need to go ahead and change that as well. Let me go ahead and change this. I'm like, something looks wrong here. Okay. So now, we have u cubed plus u squared plus 2u... Again, the happy birthday song is reminded, right? Plus, minus 4. Okay, cool. Now, what is so special about this monic polynomial? First of all, it's monic. The coefficient of u cubed is 1, which is nice. And notice that the first thing that you should notice when you see a polynomial like this one, that the sum of the coefficients is 0. What is that supposed to mean? It means that the sum of the coefficients is 0, if and only if u equals 1 is a solution of this polynomial equation. Because if you replace u with 1, you get 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. Come on. Isn't that true? It is. Therefore, u equals 1 is a solution. But this is not an equation. Well, if you set it equal to 0, it's going to become an equation. So it kind of is. But this means that u minus 1 is a factor. Okay? u minus 1 is a factor. Great. So what about that? Well, I can arrange this polynomial so that one of the factors is always u minus 1. And you know that we've done this manipulation before in other videos. That's a really efficient and good technique. Well, you can do long division, you can do synthetic division, whatever. But this is more fun. Okay? So let's do it that way. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to start off with u cubed, which is my monic. And then... I will subtract or add something. So I do need a u squared, but I got to make sure that uh, the polynomial that I form with u cubed and u squared is divisible by u minus 1. So how do you make u cubed plus minus something u squared divisible by u minus 1? Yes, you guessed it right. You're supposed to subtract u squared because notice that here u cubed minus u squared is divisible by u minus 1. You see that? Okay, great. Now, of course, I have positive u squared, so I have a leftover. I do have now 2u squared. Now, you see how that balances out? Great. Now, I'm going to proceed with 2u, but does 2u work? No, it doesn't. I do need negative 2u, but I have positive 2u. So, I got to make it up by adding 4u. This is 4u, okay? Minus 4 will conclude the process. Nice and clear. Now, what do I have? Well, I do have a really nice expression that can be factored by grouping. Again, what was our note? 
Remember to divide by four. Can you read that note? It's kind of like chicken scratch, but hopefully you can read it. Now, I'll go ahead and factor this out. u squared times u minus one. Remember, we manipulated this equation in such a way that u minus one is always, always a factor. And it is. Should come as no surprise, right? Okay. Now notice that here u minus one is a factor. Surprise, okay. And the other factor is u squared plus two u plus four. All right, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. All right, now, is that all? No, we gotta go back and back substitute. Why? Because where does u come from? What is u? What is wrong with you? Okay, well, we have to back substitute. So what is u equal to? u is equal to 2x. There you go. I got it. Okay. Now I, I'm going to replace u with 2x. Great. So let's do it. 2x minus 1. And then if you square 2x, you should get 4x squared. If you double 2x, you should get 4x. And 4 is 4 all the time, you know. It's a constant. Too bad. Now, is this the answer? No. Remember the note? What was it? Remember to divide the expression by 4. So we're supposed to divide this by 4 to get the original expression, and let's do it. But well, wait a minute. Before we can divide, can we do something? Absolutely. Oh, check it out. We can factor out a 4 here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Of course. It was all meant to be. So we can get x squared plus x plus 1 from here with the 4 outside, and then we're saying that, okay, you got to divide by 4. What is that supposed to mean? Well, it's supposed to mean that these two are going to cancel out, and we're going to get the result. And the result is going to be 2x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. As in the first method, we got the same answer. Yay, beautiful. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a member. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Maybe I'll see you sooner.